Hi, everybody. I just want to say first how excited I am to be with your kids this year. I am beyond amazed with the amount of respect and manners that they have for everybody. It takes almost nothing for me to get their attention. and They're listening on the spot to me. Um, I, It's amazing. So I, I congratulations to you guys working with them at home and you know the morals that you have instilled with inside of these kids because it's absolutely fantastic i'm so beyond excited again to just be with these kids this year so i did just want to hop on right now and explain to you this homework packet that they're going to be getting today they keep asking me about homework and the time is finally here so this is what they're going to be getting every single monday <clears throat> um this is not in color yet so i did highlight for the behavior chart where they are going to be at the end of the day. So anything above green is um, that they were showing characteristics of going above and beyond. Um, the top is the highest that they can receive. And then um, right below the green is uh, they made a mistake. Um, I redirected them and they were fine the entire day. One below that, uh, make better choices, is that they made another mistake. They weren't able to improve. And then red would be the lowest I doubt that everyone in this class will get to red because I foresee um, a lot of students, they try their best. And then when they are redirected, if they're talking, you know, if they, they shape up really quick. So I don't foresee anyone ever getting on red, maybe even not on orange. So um, that's the behavior chart. This right here lists the responsibilities. They are pretty much the same every single day. The checklist is just there for you to check off what they did to keep on track. Um, and then at the bottom, this is for me to utilize after I grade your homework to see what grades that they received. At the very top is the date, and then it tells you how many reading counts points they need to have by the end of every Friday. Um, so it is up and running. Reading counts has started. I have already had a couple of kids take tests on reading counts. Um, I am also counting words. I was able to look on the website today to see if it does that, and it does. So it does say on the very right, at the very bottom, their total amount of words. That is what I am counting for my own reading program in my classroom that I do. Who wants it to be a book and air? So keep telling them, even though they already have their points, you know, keep encouraging them at home to keep reading to earn more words for our um, who wants to be a book and air board. So that's this. And then I did also want to go over and explain the homework. So spiral reading, um, every single day will be a different skill. It is labeled with the day of the week. So today they're going to be doing main idea and details. We have not learned that in class yet, um, but they should have been exposed to main idea in second grade, possibly even first with just learning how to pick out important details in a sentence. So that's that. And then Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and then Friday. Um, I believe in the notes that I left in the homework front cover is to do Friday and bonus on Thursday. So this whole page will be pretty much done on Thursday. Bonus is not necessary. I did this include this in the homework packet folder notes that um, if they do complete this, they will earn some sunshine marks for their butterflies. So this is not necessary but to try to go above and beyond and to allow their brains to grow a little bit more to challenge them they can do that so that's the reading so they're going to do the reading whatever day of the week that it is this is language so again they'll do whatever day of the week this is here um there's two four six seven questions um this is interactive so they might need some colored pencils every now and then for that and then monday this is their spiral math um, again, this is per weekday. Everything is labeled. Okay. This does get difficult throughout the school year, possibly starting in second quarter. I have had to stop this in the past. Um, so I will be paying attention to their grades as I grade them at the end of the week into the weekend to see how they're performing. If you feel as though your child is really struggling on this math homework, please let me know and I can always differentiate it for them and I can give them something different. Um, so this does mock the work that we do do in our morning work. Um, this is also going to mock what we do for different for um, distributive practice, which is going to be a scribal worksheet that is very much like these skills as well. Um, so this is their homework. Aside from this, this is their fluency passage. And so this is a passage that they are going to be reading each night, just one time a night. I know at the bottom. It has first, second, and third attempt. Um, just one night, please. 
and then they are going you're going to record how long it took them to read it please remind them and i will do that as well before they leave that this is not a competition between how fast they are reading this passage um the purpose of recording how long it takes is to kind of see um, if they're becoming more fluent readers, they're understanding the words, how the words are pronounced, and they're working through reading those words to see if um, they are more smoothly reading the passage, okay? And then every Friday, they will have a quiz on this passage. They will all, they're allowed to use this passage, okay? So they're going to use this passage, and they're going to take some comprehension They're going to answer some comprehension questions from that, including they're going to be required to use text evidence skills. So... You're gonna have one every Friday, just record their time under first attempt of how long it took them to read. And then um, that's that. So that is our homework packet. Hopefully it wouldn't, shouldn't take them too, too long to complete that every day. Um, and then also in their homework folders, I'm using binders this year. You guys supplied a binder and that's what I'm using for their folders this year, just because um, of these, I'm going to have their newsletters in there. So I'm going to have a sheet protector. I don't, I won't have sheet protectors today. I left those at my house. So you're in this sheet protector. This is their newsletter. It'll be in the very front. And then on the back will be their vocabulary words. So this is their basic newsletter that they will receive every Monday. Um, it has what we're learning for the week. It has some upcoming dates. There aren't any specific dates here yet. It just kind of gives you information on tests. Title one tests are star reading or math. If you're more familiar with those terms. Um, and then NOVIA and iReady tests are available for us to take, but we are waiting a little bit to take those. Um, spelling words. Now, we only, our real spelling words are 1 through 10. 11, 12, and 13 that have asterisks next to them, the three asterisks, those are challenge words. And then 14 through 18 are the vocabulary words that they have to learn how to spell that are on the back of here. Um, so they are required for studying these as well. Those will be in the sheet protector in their homework folder. And I believe that is all I have for you. So if you have any questions, please message me on Remind um, about homework, about anything else. Maybe something happened in class today. Um, we've had a really good day so far, and they are currently at recess, and I have to go pick them up. So I hope you have a fantastic evening, and I will see your kiddos tomorrow. Bye-bye.